Happening now, the House and Senate floor both in session. Here's a live look at both chambers. Lawmakers have been at the Capitol debating several bills for hours with less than a week left of that session. One of the bills that both chambers were set to take up today is paid family leave. But that has now been pushed back with the other bills taking so long. The bill would create a state run program with 20 weeks maximum per year. Someone can take for having a baby or taking care of a loved one. Rose Schmidt explains its impact on Minnesotans. This is Beatrix. For the last decade, Margaret Sitta has made her choices with her future children in mind. Three month old Beatrix and three year old Imogen. I've always been super conscious of like hoarding my sick time and like going to work when I'm not feeling well. The school district where she works doesn't offer paid time off, so her choices were either stockpile those sick days or take days unpaid. If I had had more time, even at half pay, I absolutely would have taken it with her. <laughs> She's not sleeping through the night yet. She's really little. At nine months pregnant, she testified in support of paid family and medical leave in Minnesota. But she was also thinking about her very first pregnancy. Four years ago, she delivered her son Jude stillborn. It really adds insult to injury to like give birth and you plan on taking a baby home and you don't get to and it's so traumatizing. But amid that trauma and having to physically recover from giving birth, she only took five days off. Again, thinking about the future family she always dreamed of. I wish I had felt like I could take a little more time. <laughs> There are many personal stories just like that St. Paul mom, but on the flip side, the small business community tells me if this bill gets signed into law, as the governor has pledged to do, it'll be harder for them to keep their doors open. They say they've been pushing the DFL to find a compromise, but instead they say Minnesota's program would be one of the most expensive and most complex programs in the country. And they feel they can't afford to have workers out of the workforce for 20 weeks. For small business owners that we represent, uh, this bill is probably the number one concern that I've heard all session along here at the legislature. Uh, and it really gets at two of the biggest challenges that small businesses are facing right now, which are hard to find workers and they're really squeezed financially. Business leaders also tell me they feel this bill only continued to get worse for their community as it went through conference committee over the weekend. Reporting live from the state capitol, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Rose.